five things every landlord needs to know before becoming a landlord. I really believe that all landlords should have these five skills. And if you think I missed something, please make sure to leave it in the comments below. Before we continue, if you would take a moment to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Also, check out my book, Leadership for Landlords, now available on Amazon. Number five, you have to know how to communicate with people. If you can't communicate with tenants clearly or with city officials or contractors, you're going to have a hard time getting work done and getting tenants to move in the direction you need them to move. Number four, running your finances like a business. It's a business. I don't care if you have one unit or a thousand units, it's a business. And if you don't have any units, run your personal finances like a business. It'll get you in the right mindset. This is going to help you immensely at the end of the year. And speaking about end of year things, number three, tax deductions. Make sure you're keeping an itemized list of everything that you're buying for your business. All the money coming in and everything you're buying and every distribution you take from your business needs to have a record in a log. That way, at the end of the year, when you do your taxes or your CPA does your taxes, they're able to itemize things for you. These tax deductions are huge savings for rental property owners. Number two, being able to do common household repairs. I cannot stress this enough. We have saved so much money by just doing simple things, replacing outlets, replacing light fixtures, replacing toilets. Uh, these things sound complex, but I guarantee anybody can understand them and there's a video for it on YouTube. Some of the things I don't do myself, I don't do gas lines, I don't do electrical box upgrades, uh, things like that, things that would be a uh, serious danger for an unskilled person to do, I don't do. But something as simple as a light fixture, you can turn that off at the circuit breaker and replace a light fixture for about $10. However, if I were to hire that out to a contractor, it might cost me up to $100 to get that done. Learn common repairs. It's a must. Number one, and honestly the most important skill that every landlord should have, is the ability to start and finish things. If you're one of those people that starts a job and never finishes it, this is not for you. Uh, we do all types of things that we have to see through to the end. I can't leave a tenant with no toilet or no gas or no water. I have to make sure that not only the job is started, but that the job is completed and that it's done correctly. That means following up with contractors and checking on them and making sure that the thing is done right. It also means when a tenant isn't paying, if we have to do an eviction, uh, you have to follow it through. You have to go to court. You have to make sure that you're bringing the necessary evidence that uh, supports your case. Otherwise, you could have units go sitting with no rent forever. All right, property leaders, that's all I have for you for today. If you like this content, please make sure to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my book, Leadership for Landlords, now available on Amazon.